let's just start here we've got um <clears throat> this is the bottom of the fairy tarot so five of autumn reach out to others for assistance poor timing for a career change feeling challenged by money issues so some of this energy may be just sort of leaving or passing through you at this time um, or it could be something that you're contemplating um uh, you know right now but um, this is very much about um you know giving and receiving as well so um it you know reach out to others so you know it may, it may be that you need to just get some guidance or assistance in some way um and not to block that uh, because it may just be um going to help you um through a difficult patch or through a some sort of uh, period which is just uh, requiring some adjustment and assistance at this time so and then poor timing for a career change this could be, just be that you are contemplating that or you've been thinking about it um perhaps you're wanting to earn more money from your uh, from a position and so on um, but, um, you know, just feeling, just feeling the pinch generally or feeling that you perhaps need, you know, need to improve your situation. But, um, I feel that this is going to change because you have got the king of spring here. So I do feel that something is coming in for you, whether it's your part of your reaching out for assistance and somebody comes in to assist you or some, something comes in to assist you. Um, but, um, you know, this energy could actually, as I say, just be moving off now. And, and this is the start of a new phase coming in. Um, or it could be something that was brought up with the lunar eclipse and now you are um you know grappling with that uh, situation currently now we have got here king of spring innovative inspiring wise theatrical so this could be somebody in your in your situation whether it's a partner or a friend or a boss or a manager or somebody else uh, maybe um, um sort of sort of uh, exhibiting these uh, qualities it can be masculine or feminine um and it says here a financial windfall your leadership skills are needed now an unexpected supporter of your cause so i feel this situation to do with the uh, money is you know a resolution will be found something is coming in for you to assist you so whether it's as a result of you reaching out and somebody comes in to assist you um, or whether it's coming from some other um, situation it could also be that you you know in your current position whatever it is that you're doing um, perhaps you can address a few things with your your manager or the people that you work with or however you do it um, and find another way or find ways to improve your situation so that you don't feel compelled to move uh, at this time. Um, as I said, with Mercury retrograde, it's not a good time to be looking for a new job and all that kind of thing because you will, you know, especially if you've got to sign something because likely it won't go well or you'll have to change something or you'll have to go back and do something again or there'll be some kind of um, issue that uh, comes up. Rather wait until the retrograde period has passed and if there's been no improvement to your situation, then you can, um, you know, look to expand. But I do feel that possibly that's back to the drawing board. Go back over your things again or your plan or whatever and look and possibly there's some that you can fix change or create and make it better within your current situation and possibly somebody can come in and, and assist you with that so that may not be necessary for you to be um, moving um, and, and changing jobs and going through all of that stress um, so see if you can improve your current situation uh, but in the meantime it looks like you're getting some help uh, at this time Um, as I said, with the prudence, this is about being prudent with your actions, okay? So just bear in mind with the Mercury retrograde, as I said, um, be careful where you put your energy. This is really more of an introspective period. It's a time to make something better than what you have currently, okay? So this is about be careful where you put your energy, um, you know, treat your energy like gold. So, you know... It, where you where are you going to put it and this can relate to a lot of things um you know you don't want to be putting it into something that's not going to bear fruit or it's not going to help you in any way you need to be just um alert and careful about where you're putting your energy at this time so that um, even if it's a long-term thing or a short-term thing whatever it may be that, so that it's going to be beneficial it may not be showing immediately but something that will come you know bear fruit at some point um, but just uh, just be careful that you don't um, spread too much around and then uh, deplete yourself in some way whether this is from an energy or a monetary point of view Now we have got here um, fifth house creativity. Fifth house is your house of uh, creativity, obviously. Um, 
we are all born creative. Not all of us are born artistic. So, you know, just take it as it resonates. But the, the creativity is we use it every day, all the time in everything that we do. So it's your stamp, your individuality, your originality, or just your flair or your way of doing things. Um, and it could be uh, project related. Perhaps you're involved in that at the moment um, or you are in the creative field. In some cases, this can be like... Um, uh, to do with the arts as well. You have got a, the Taurus card here, and that can very much be to do with the arts, or whatever it may be. So this can be stage work, it can be um, on uh, media, it can be, um, you know, an art artistic work, sculpture, or dance, or stage work, whatever the, whatever the, whatever is right for you. Um, it, it could be that something is coming in for you, something new to work on, um, and possibly this will then, um, somebody will step up to assist you, perhaps to offer you backing for that or to um, to commission you for something. You know, these things can come in in a, in a multiple of ways. So all of that comes in. It's also the house of children. So this could also be to do with, um, you know, your children or other children around you at this time. Uh, but it is also very much about recreational activities. So there's anything fun, anything pleasurable, anything that really you enjoy. It can be a sport um, or it could be a handcraft or an artistic activity or just a, uh, some sort of physical activity. It could be anything that is enjoyable and pleasurable and fun for you. All of that comes in with this house. Um, it is also um, about, it could be to do with a love affair as well. Um, so this is somebody coming in, either a new person or somebody that's around at this moment. Um, this hasn't gone fully to commitment. It's more like the beginning stages. Um, seventh house is is more the commitment. Um, and so this is something that uh, it could be relevant for you at this time. Um, and it's all the all the activities around that, um, you know, the romantic and the um, the pleasurable activities. Then um, it can also be about a risk of some sort that may be coming in with this. This may be tied up to a creative project or to this love affair or something else, maybe even to do with your children. You could be involved in something that your children are going through and you're seeing it through their eyes or you are working through it with them. So take it as it applies to your situation. Um, the risk situation can also be related to a profession and this is to do with uh, like stock market, um, in some cases gambling as well. So now it's saying here, Taurus is about the accumulation of funds. It's about the accumulation of anything really, but mostly material things, um, ownership of things, um, income, and the, and you know the accumulation of money. And money matters come in with this. And uh, so all of those issues are highlighted. Uh, but it is also um, about. Um, you're growing your garden of possibilities. So what is your garden? What are you trying to grow here? Is it a creative project? Is it something to do with your children? Is it uh, to do with, um, you know, a, a, a romance, a, a love affair? And if that's the case, it's going to be very sensuous because of the Taurus energy. Um, but it is also a love of luxury. It's a love of home comforts, um, a nice place to be security and uh, money you know squirreled away in the bank things like that just security stability all of these things come in with this but it really is about your garden of possibilities what are you growing how are you nurturing it uh, is it short term long term what is your plan um, all of these things um, on the mundane level it can be literally something to do with gardening as well or getting your hands on the soil or things to do with land and real estate and ownership uh, of that uh, or, or connection to that in some way Income is, uh, comes in with this and also your self-worth, you know, which may come up in relationships um, as well or your children um, and with any creative project that you may be involved in. So all of these things come in and your talents and abilities, obviously, and your skills to do with the arts or artistic activities, uh, whatever that may be, however it applies to you um, and, um, you know, the nurturing of that, as it were. Now, you've got a very positive card here. You've got Astara uh, Fertility. It is the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. So for some people, this may be to do with children. So the, the sensuality and the tactile um, activities and also creating a home, making it a beautiful home, or creating an environment which is welcoming either for a love affair or for children or whatever the situation may be. Okay, um, It's all of the, the nurturing activities that go in with this and the providing stability and security and creating something, uh, material things, gathering material things. 
So it could be to do with birth or conception or children. Uh, in this case, you may be um, in that uh, in that way in your life. Um, for others, it may be um, even grandchildren. It depends on where you are in, in your life. So, but it could also be a creative project that you're involved in, or something that you want to start or do, or an activity or an artistic activity, or it could be something to do with the arts, whether it's ballet or dancing. Perhaps it's related to your children, a handcraft, whatever it may be. But very very fertile time, very abundant time, um, flowers are blooming and there's some lovely, um, you know, abundant energy. She's got a basket full of eggs. This is, um, this card is, um, often associated with when the, um, uh, uh with the uh, Easter period or April, um, or any time really that is, is seen as more abundant for you. And so for some ca case, people that can be like more summery energy, um, or spring for some people. So it really depends on what you relate to in this energy. S something that you may be working on may only only um, what you plant now may only bear fruit um, in the Easter period. So certainly if you are um, into the, you know, uh, making yourself available to uh, produce children or something to do with your children or conceiving or conception or whatever it may be, or even birthing, it could very well be related to that. Take it as it resonates, but it's a very, very fertile energy. This is even fertility from a, an artistic and a creative point of view or a relationship, whatever the situation, but very, very positive, very abundant energy coming in here. Okay. Um, Taurus, hope you enjoy the enjoyed the reading. Um, please take care. Have a wonderful month. And uh, please don't forget to like and share or like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.